Oh, hey, I uh, didn't see you there. It, it's been a while. I thought maybe you, I thought you moved out. Uh, oh, jeez, I am, this is, this is awkward. I'm sorry, we turned your room into an office for work. Um, it's nice, though, it's nice. We put a little Christmas tree in there and everything. Um, this is, this is awkward. I, Halloween? Oh man, bud, you, uh, you missed that. Um, it's been like three months. <laughs> it's a completely different holiday now. And we buried you. Every trace of you burned your bones, erased your name. But I guess we can do both holidays. So this week on Cartridge Blowers, it's halloween -mas. Nikki gets a bonus sticker, so now she can die fulfilled in Andy's Apple Farm. Cody takes a journey through Hard Cloud World, my Final Fantasy VII fanfic, in Eversion. And I shoot my way through Bats and Doctors and Flava Flav in Savage Halloween. All this and Inscription. It's cards, but spooky like Solitaire, but with a Dracula on the back of the cards. It's Cartridge Blowers, episode 191. What are harps, if not necklace guitars? <sighs> anyway, uh, now that you're back, um, again, super awkward. Wish you told us we can't, like, give you your room back. We already installed a printer in there. Um, you can sleep on the couch, maybe? The basement? Your grave? Whatever works best for you, rents $200 a month. YNIN's Cartridge Blowers! Starring Cody Coleman, Nikki Wright, Matt Brewer, and no one else! Cartridge Blowers! Hello everybody, and welcome to Why and I Cartridge Blowers, the show where we give video games a second chance to make a first impression. And we're back! I'm Cody Coleman, head administrator of the EDOC Namelock Interact Network, and with me as always is Nikki Wright. God. Hey. And Jubilee. And Jubilee, who has um, decided that she does not want to be in my lap anymore at the worst <laughs> time. <laughs> and Matt Krua. Ah, hello. Hello. Uh, this is my werewolf. We've got a werewolf here. <laughs> yeah, we got multiple werewolves. <laughs> Matt just hasn't grown the fur yet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. there. You got Getting a little there. bit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, working on it. Working on it. <laughs> you werewolf over the period of months. That's <laughs> yes. It yeah. takes a while. Um, it's a very long, <laughs> excruciating transformation. I'm very um, sorry. Yeah. Right on. This is the show where in the second half we play video games based around a theme, if you guys can remember that, because it's been quite a while. Um, but uh, normally the theme is randomized. However, there are two themes a year that we do at the same time every single year, and that's a Halloween episode and a Secret Santa episode. And... We've been gone for like almost three months, so we didn't have a Halloween episode, and now it's Christmas, so we're uh, we're combining the winter holidays and Halloween. We're having a not-so-secret Santa halloween miss episode, where we all gifted each other uh, different $5 or under Steam Halloween or Christmas games. I think we all chose Halloween games. Uh, and we're going to see how those go. So we're going to have a bit of a spooky Christmas time over here on the channel. Um, so that's what you have to look forward to in the second half of the week. Uh, you can subscribe or follow our Twitch channel over at twitch.tv slash cartridge blowers. And you can be alerted when we go live or all the other times that Matt goes live playing as Super Nintendo games or various other things. And uh, you can have a good time. You can hang out in the chat. You can talk to us and we can talk back. We have an after show most of the time. So please go on over to twitch.tv slash cartridge blowers and uh and give us a little bit of a follow 
However, uh, if you don't want to do that, you're not a very uh, talkative person and you really would like to see the edited version of the show, you can do that by going on over to youtube.com slash cartridgeblowers or youtube.com slash pod, and you can subscribe there. You'll get the edited version and it'll be much cleaner and you can click on the timestamp in the description below to go to pretty much any point in the show that you want to. So, uh, you know, that's a good time too. We're not going to fault you for it. But before we get around to playing those video games, we haven't been together in quite a while, so we probably have at least some stuff that we've played that we'd like to talk about. So uh, why don't we get on into that uh, they're talking? Matt, what have you been playing? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just been so long. It has. It's been so long, Kobe. It's been a bit. And I don't know about the two of you, my friends, but um, having spent all of those many months um, enshrined in torpor in my casket, <laughs> mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. letting my body regenerate after the last episode where we died at the end. Sure, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. There was the big old explosion, and uh, right. yeah. It was this, the season finale of Carter's Blowers, mm -hmm. and uh, we just barely <laughs> made it back. Um, I have been uh, sort of regenerated. I have two games I do want to talk about, um, and I would like to talk about both of them. They're both kind of good for halloween i suppose okay um none of them are good for christmas That's but i fine. will talk about two other games I, I wanted to talk about uh one that chat just mentioned actually uh which is back for blood um which is a uh from turtle rock studios a spiritual sequel to the left for dead games left for dead one and two uh they developed the original left for dead and uh then they kind of pieced out uh, and Valve did the rest of the series on their own while they went on to make Evolve, Turtle Rock did, and Evolve was um, not good. And, oh, no. Um, <laughs> that I was the Kaiju Evolve, game, I, right? Yeah, yeah, it wasn't great. Um, I streamed that one time, and it, it was like, I don't want to play this ever again. Um, <laughs> the sign of a great game. Right, exactly. Um, Back for Blood is them kind of just saying, well, we made one good game, let's just do that again. And so they did, and it's fine. Um, it was it was a good time. I played it multiplayer with uh, some folks who were in the chat, um, and that was probably what made it most enjoyable. I think if I was playing it single player, it would not be very fun. Um, and it doesn't really have a lot of the same, like it's the same concept as Left 4 Dead. You're four survivors. Uh, and you've got to move through a level as various undead monsters come and chase at you. Um, like you do. Like you do, right. And then you get to the end of the level and get to a safe room and then move on to the next map. Um, and so it's very, sorry, yeah, Ridden. We, they're called the Ridden because every fucking zombie property has to have a different name. For their zombie. No one can just say zombies. Right. Thank, thank you, Walking Dead. Yeah, they're, oh, hey, the walkers are all, all out there. We gotta watch out, the walkers. No, they're, the, they're zombies. Mm -hmm. Just say it. Y'all have movies. The Alifers, exactly. I walk oh. too, guys. <laughs> I'm Free also first. a walking person. <laughs> right, and I'm dead inside, so it's like the same thing. <laughs> um, Back for Blood is it's perfectly fine. I would say solid B-plus game. Okay. Um. And uh, I'm glad it came out on Game Pass, so I didn't have to pay for it. Um, but I would probably, like, buy it, like, discounted. You know, like, it's not bad. It's not a bad game. Um, the thing is, I uh, I played Left 4 Dead for, like, three to four years right. nightly. Um, like, every single night I played Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2. And, I think um, I even played that with you once or twice on the Xbox times, 360. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I just had a dedicated group that I played Left 4 Dead with, and um, I don't know. This game doesn't have that same feeling to me, um, like that I could see myself doing playing this game every night. Um, but it was good to run through the campaign. Uh, the major differences here are you've got the sort of card deck building system, so you have character advancement as you go through the levels and the campaigns. Um, but it's not enough to keep me coming back. Um, I would I, I I I like I uninstalled it last night after we finished playing the game, so um, you know it's back for blood, gone forever. Yeah, I mean again, I mean I bought I think I saw it. Listen, 
in the world of Metacritic, where it's like, this game is not a 90, throw it in the garbage. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I think a solid B plus. That's a good game. Yeah, that's fine. I, I, am mad. I am mad about the time I spent with Back for Blood. Um, I just don't know that I want to spend more time with it. It's not my game of the year or anything. Um, I probably should have did a game of the year list for this one. This is probably going to be the last one for 2022, 2021. It, it, huh? is, it is, but you oh, can always do it for the the beginning of 2022. Yeah, yeah, I'll do yeah. it. Yeah. Because, yeah, like, there's still a few days left in the year. Yeah. You're right. You're something right. You could come play out. something that absolutely blows your mind. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to. Not yet, um, but still. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of games that blew my mind, though, the other game I want to talk about is a game called Inscription. And um, I had heard about Inscription on a podcast called The Besties. And um, basically, they didn't want to go into too much detail about it, which I also don't want to go into too much detail about it because it's a game you kind of need to experience. Is this a PC um, game? It is on PC, okay. yes. I don't think it has any other uh, any console releases, to my knowledge. Okay. Um, so let me just sort of set the scene here, okay? It's a card game, all right? Not unlike, say, Slay the Spire or something, right? Where you are, um, you know, you build your deck as you go through these different maps. Um, the game starts with you sitting. It's first person. You're in a cabin, this very dark cabin. And the shadowy figure across from you is challenging you to play cards, right? And, <coughs> pardon me. And so you play cards, you go through, and like as you're like meeting different characters, the person who's sitting across from you is like playing these other characters, right? And they're like changing personalities. Um, and then uh, you keep going, but eventually. You get a card, and the card starts talking to you. Oh, I th and, okay. And it says, "Hey, not everything is as it seems here." And then you start to figure out, "Hey, you can get up from the table, and you can walk around the cabin, and there's like escape room style puzzles to solve." Ooh boy! And you find more cards, and the other cards also start talking to you, and something very wrong is is happening here. But then finally you you lose the game because of course you lose the game. It's your first time playing, right? Yes. And then you're dragged into the next room and you are brutally murdered. Oh. But don't worry. He takes your picture before you die. Oh, and then how you nice. start all over. You start all over. And <laughs> uh, yeah, you play you play again and uh you know, you keep playing through. Uh, eventually you do find a card with your picture and name on it, and that's fine. But <laughs> You know, it's fine. It's fine. It's okay. fine. Okay. <laughs> um, and this is just act one of the game. There are three acts of the game. Um, as Chad is kind of alluding to, uh, it gets into some weird shit. Um, I'm going to say there's uh, the other two acts of the game plays similarly, but also have a completely different art style, have a completely different just feel to them. Um there's like a whole sort of like there was an arg like um, not prawn style mystery that was solved regarding the game because um, there was some weird lore. There is, you know, full motion video. Um, there's finally oh full motion video in a video game. I mean, like, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> uh, there's like this ongoing mystery. Basically, like you eventually find something out about a YouTube channel and there's different web addresses you can go to. And by the time you're into the third act, the game is accessing your computer's files and like legitimately and uh, uh -oh. <laughs> uh, connecting to other players on the internet. And it's like, this is fun. This is great. It's great. It's, it's, huh. a, it's, it's an incredible experience. Um, <laughs> I don't really know how else to describe it. The game is sending file folder called do not open grandma to I mean, random <laughs> users. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I did not access any pornography on my hard drive because of course there's not any, but um, I, uh, I, I don't know. You use your other hard drive for that. Thank you. <laughs> yes, portable, exactly. portable one. So I can take it anywhere I go. I don't, I don't want to leave home without it. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, I don't know. It's a very, very special game um, that I'm just so wary of spoiling. Because I could, if if we we could have like a like spoiler chat about it, like I would talk for hours about this game. It's so good. Um, it's so good. There's such like this weird lore in in it that just like kind of got me hooked. Um, like after I finished the game, I was reading just like people's Google Docs of where they had like sort of you know said like oh hey yeah no we 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 in this Discord all solved these mysteries and got this and this and this and figured this out and got to this YouTube channel and like had to download this file and then reverse it and then find and, like two of us went to these coordinates and we dug up this disc in the ground and it was like what is happening? <laughs> cool, it's it's um it's a here let me just tell you you should play Inscription it's haunted. Okay, it's haunted. it's haunted. You want me to download a ghost into my system? Yeah. Oh, it's pretty solid advice, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, it's haunted. Okay, cool. All right, so uh, big old thumbs up on on that game. Yeah, inscription I N S C R Y, P T I O N. Um, thank yeah, you for the it. spelling. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, I don't believe we really have other games we've played to talk about. I've I've been playing Tomb Ra- Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I've already talked about that on the show. I played a little bit of Wildermyth. Um, How'd you like it? I liked it. Yeah, I would definitely yeah. want to play more. I didn't get to play it nearly enough, but uh, I played through some it's of the game. tutorial and like I think it I think it'll be fun. I definitely want to play uh, play more of it. Um, but we've already talked about that on the show too. So. Why don't we just get into playing our games? We have longer videos this time. Let's just play some stuff. So like I said at the beginning of the show, this week our theme is uh, not so secret Santa because when you have three people, it's really hard to be secretive about who you're buying for. And this time it's Halloween themed games, which is a first for us uh, for Secret Santa Week. So um, Nikki is actually up first. Nikki. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So Matt bought for me a game called Andy's Apple Farm. Yeah. Yeah. It's fall. Sounds themed. exciting. Yeah. It's it's fall themed. You know, everyone likes to go apple picking in sure. fall. Mm, I love apples. And Andy's got an apple farm, so that's perfect. Yeah. Cody, are you muted? Cody mm-hmm. muted himself. And I so this did. Is fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah. That he, he, was sounds... just, he was talking about apples. I was. I was so excited about so the good. apples. Um, but yeah, that sounds very calming. A nice relaxing game. Super relaxing, super fun. You can make so many things with apples, and I learned that uh, in in the course of my gameplay. Are we going to learn about how to make things with apples? Yeah. Awesome. I would love to learn about how, like, how to make a nice apple crisp. Yeah, um, man. Like okay. Apple crisp, apple pie, apple cider. Strudels. Strudels. Ah. Ooh, love a good strudel. Apple kringle. Oh, man. Oh, boy. I don't even know what yeah. that is, but I want it. Yeah, yeah me so too. Good. Apple machine, apple machine guns. guns. Um, yeah. Apple machine guns. Apple iMac. All, all yeah. right. <laughs> all right. So uh, apple it, anything else we should talk about uh, this game before we get into it? I mean, unless Matt wants to talk about like what drew him to this game for me, I think we're good. I- I searched for Halloween games and I saw a game called Andy's Apple Farm. I'm like, okay, that looks good. <laughs> okay. That was all. That was. I, I don't know much about it. Okay. Well, cool. That, now's the time. Yeah. Well, I've spoiled the whole game for you. I'm so ah, sorry. Dip. <laughs> Caramel right. dip for apples. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> let's get watching. Oh, it's a VHS game. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It, it, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we had this on my old school computer when I was in elementary. Yeah, I, you you might recognize it from um, you know when in the days of Apple IIe's, um, this was a popular game on it along with Math Blasters and Oregon Trail. Okay. And so if you haven't played it because you had Math Blasters and Oregon Trail, I understand. Yeah. Okay, so far so good. I like those vector. Hi, rappers. I'm Andy the Apple. Oh, good. Welcome it's, to my Apple farm. There's nice voice move around, Hello, you Andy. Press the arrow keys on your keyboard. Yeah. You can talk with others by pressing the space bar. Let's go see how okay. everyone is doing today. Thank you, Andy. Oh. 
Yeah. This is Andy the tomato. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it was the 80s. Hey, they fellas, did what they could. What's up? Oh, sure. Hi, Andy. We're just having a picnic. Care to join us? Of course I would. Is that a fish? Hi, 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 hi. Andy. Maybe? Hi, Felix, Melody, Margaret, Klaus. Klaus is a clock. So what are you all up to today? Oh, we're just eating right now. Care for an apple? I was voiced by the same guy. <laughs> play some games. Hey, Andy, do you want to play with us? My favorite thing is I the would. voice acting and how it's definitely done by multiple people. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Collect all of our bonus stickers and we'll give you a prize. Okay. Oh, wow. What's the prize? That would break the surprise, would it not? That's a good point, Klaus. Oh, yeah. I guess you are. It's the key to your house. <laughs> <laughs> What? You took the key to my house? <laughs> yeah, we did. But but why why would you? You gotta get all the bonus stickers to get it back. You gotta get all the bonus stickers to get um, it back. Yeah. Don't this is taking it. a weird this turn. It's a it's a uh, game in beta. You guys say Listen, so. oh, gotcha. there's gonna be like a game. couple bugs. Gotcha. So now you have to go find the key to your house. To yeah. Your house. Well, first I have to um talk to my friends. Sure. Yeah. yeah. But this one, Klaus doesn't want to play with me. He wants yeah, me to go Klaus. talk to Melody first, and like, I don't remember which one Melody I, is. I do. I think she's either. the dog. I think she was the uh, lemon thing. The half the moon? moon one. Yeah. Well, here's the dog. So. Hey, Andy. I was picking up fruits, but dropped them all. Can you help me sort them into the right baskets? Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, Andy. I really appreciate your help. So, like, I I hope I edited this right, and if I didn't, I'm telling, or if I did, I'm telling on myself, but I fucked this really simple game up twice. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, cool. I did edit out the parts where I messed up, because, like, I thought you dragged and you draw you let go of space bar and it dropped them, but no, that's not how that works. You drag them right um, onto so it. <laughs> I, I messed that up twice. Like oh. the genius I am. Um, this is a pretty good game so far. I like it. Yeah. yeah. Hi, Mew Mew. How's it going? Hello. Man. Hello. So okay. yeah, it's a pretty simple game mechanic. Just um, match the fruit to the basket that it's in drag and drop and you're just helping your friend uh sort just, her harvest yeah cherries and pears right yeah although i i i it looks like you're picking up like the the pears or the garbage bags uh but i'm definitely picking up cherries gotcha yeah were there any apples there was um there one. were two that's troubling and um you know i think Gunmako would probably enjoy a nice game about an apple farm. Sure, yeah. I don't know that she would enjoy this particular game about an apple farm. Thank you so okay. much for helping me out, It seems pretty Andy. solid so far. For your help, I'll lend you my bonus sticker. Heck you yeah. Got a bonus sticker. Look at that. Yeah, it's this so cool. it's so nice. It's really sweet. Is this uh, flickering to black normal? Oh. It, it is doing that on purpose. That is part oh. of the game, yes. This is a sound. Oh, okay. This is a I, sound. Oh. I forgot oh. about that, and I do apologize oh. for not warning you ahead of time. Right. It's okay. I forgot. It's um, okay. It will oh. go away, I promise. <laughs> I promise it'll go away. <laughs> you, might, you might just want to turn. Okay, it's done. It's We're done. done. Okay. That stuff is gone. Just my inner ear. Our, which is our like short hurting. national nightmare is concluded. Okay. Did, did Andy the Apple Farm go to hell because it's just blackness there, now wait, wait, what's yeah happening? he was assaulted by clones of himself it, it is it is a bit weird i i agree footsteps what happened andy open your eyes my friend i'm assuming like do you just have to put the disc back in or yeah do you need um to... i might i didn't i didn't flip it right Gotcha. Got it. Okay. I needed to flip it. 
Um, and, and when you don't do that, like if you remember, uh, some of you might not because, you know, we're old. Um, yeah. But like if you didn't, you would hear these weird sounds because it was trying to find Tata that wasn't there. Anyway, the game closed and I had to reopen it. Oh. Okay. As a beta okay. tester, oh, your you're goal is to find bugs and glitches and report them to me. I am fully aware the game is not finished. However, I will okay. update the game as time goes on. Okay. Thank you, beta right. tester. Oh. Okay. Okay. That's, this is normal. Oh, yeah. 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 It's a beta. Oh, it, it saved it, some exactly progress that. though. It did, which which is nice. Okay. Oh no, do you have to do the cutscene again? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Okay. So far I don't see any cursed activity happening yet. So far we're I mean, good. A little glitchy. A little you know, glitch, yeah. Oh, the fish hey, person. Dude, how's it going? You wanna play a fishing game? More than anything in this world. Yeah, that's more like it. Let's play. Felix is Felix a fish fishing for other fish? He is. Um, oh. Uh, it's it's okay. Uh, it, it's a little strange. Um, hey, and job. might I say Gotta the fish. hitbox for the fish kind of suck? Yeah. Um, hey, good job. I I did Gotta accidentally fish. fish up a boot. Oh. Uh, and so I did edit that out. But like, you see me trying to like recalibrate, like how do I not fish up the boot? Oh, is right. that what those that's are? Okay. I mean, you know, we were still learning a lot back then. Sure. Those are some big boots. Also, those fish. are some big boots. Hey, good job. You got a fish. But there's a there's um, like a doll now at the at the bottom yeah. of the lake, and so I guess I should fish that up and and get my friend Felix a new friend. Uh huh. What's wrong with your face? Yeah. Whoa. Mm. Is Andy okay? Oh, hi. A search is underway for a child who fell off a rowboat and never resurfaced <laughs> Thursday evening. According to the Pumpkin County Sheriff's Office, <laughs> deputies responded to the scene yesterday, October 14. The um. victim, a 10 year old male, and his sister fell off a rowboat late at night. The girl returned home safely, however, the young boy has not been found as of yet. 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 Andy, are you so okay? So the family's gonna be happy, right? Yeah. I, I found their son. Uh, um. He's okay, right? He was just sleeping. Hey, good job, man. Thank the maker. We went fishing. Exactly. Hey, hey, you got a bonus sticker. Thank the maker. Two bonus stickers now. Congratulations. Thank okay. you. Bonus stickers are all that matter in my world. Yeah, right. absolutely. Well, I, I want the key to my house back. Well, that is important. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, how am I going to get home? There are two things in this world that matter. Bonus stickers and the key to my house. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. What's this fish here? What the fuck? Haven't you done enough fish? Right. So he still won't talk to me. And like, truthfully, I'm like, I don't know where, Ma where Melody went. But, you know, it's fortunately it is a game from the 80s. So we can figure it out pretty quickly. Sure. Oh, That's there's Melody. Because there's Melody. Hi, Andy. She looks like she you want to play pee. a song with me? I would love nothing more than to play awesome. a song with me. Just let me grab that guitar and we'll play. Oh, Melody's about to shred. Melody oh. is about to shred. She's very talented. That's a harp. Listen. Oh. Andy has a guitar, though. What, what are harps if not necklace guitars? <laughs> you know, that's a solid point. <laughs> uh what got a rhythm game going apples <laughs> it did not follow the rhythm apples. of of the song yeah it seems pretty off <laughs> yeah uh. it, it was not it was not great it's a, a bot beta, though. though yeah yeah, yeah. um Ooh. 
Okay, that was just mash the arrow keys all at the same time, though. So, I mean, we've all we've all played Sandstorm yeah. um, when right. playing DDR. Yeah. I was prepared for this. How do you report bugs to Andy? See, he um, really wanted you to. Yeah. Hey, is this thing on? Cool. I've got a uh, lot. Hey, Cam, you want to see this? <laughs> she seems busy. Anyways, I've been experimenting with a lot of cool technology recently. Uh, a lot of the video games I've been putting together haven't really been accepted by a lot of the publishers. Uh, so I was like, I need to do something really cool with this next one. So here's the first version of the new game I'm working on. Uh, I'm calling it Apple Acres for now, but I'm still working on the title. Um, this game features all sorts of uh, new technology that I've been working on. Uh, it has something called a cinema screen type monitor, uh, so I feel like it would be more immersive like movies. Uh, and on top of that, I've even located a lot of memory to adding fully cartoon characters during cutscenes. <laughs> There's no way this one can't do well. Can't afford to have another flop. Um, um, I think this one will be successful. I've also been thinking about some other types of technology uh, to make the characters a bit more lifelike. Uh, I don't know. It's not very... Eh. Oh, eh? wow, you're good at playing the guitar. <laughs> Alright, go talk to that clock fucker. Yeah, yeah. you found Melody. I, I found Melody, and now and now finally Klaus the clock fucker will play a game with me. <laughs> I hate Klaus so much. Yeah, Klaus seems like an asshole. Yeah, for but, sure. But, uh, you know, he wants to play a game with me probably, so... Why, hello there, Andy. <laughs> Don't you have a game for me to play? Oh yes. Uh, what about a game of chess? Chess. Chess. I have no Nerd. Idea how to play that. <laughs> oh, okay. Unfortunately. Uh, how about a game of ice? Andy spot? the apple. Sounds good stupid. to me. Let's play. Okay, you got it. I spy. I spy with my little eye. Some red. red. Okay. There's like a lot of red things. Oh yeah, my god. Dude. Yes, that's it. I spy with my little okay. eye. Something floating. Um, Klaus's stupid face. Yes, that's it. <laughs> I spy with my little eye something growing. Ooh. Yes, this that's it. Trick? I spy with my little eye something dangerous. Klaus. Yes, that's uh, it. Yes. <laughs> I spy with my little eye something. Deceased. <laughs> Did he say um. deceased? I thought he said Jesus. Oh, okay. But he might have said deceased. So I like, you know, I was like, Klaus, I guess that could be Jesus. Um. <laughs> Again, this you is still a perfectly game. normal game. Yeah, I, but like, I don't want it to bug out and you not get a bonus sticker. Are you Klaus now? Oh. Uh, am I? That's a good question. I, I don't. Well, now that she's Klaus, Klaus? She, has, she has the bonus sticker. Yeah. And presumably, the key to my house. Oh, to yeah. To Andy's house. That's a good point. You're entering in an area of... Okay. Uh, what? Andy. 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 Your own personal Klaus cheese. Someone to be your friend. Um... Where are they, Arthur? I, 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 Tommy, what are you doing? I'm sick and tired of you lying to me. Uh. Wait, Thomas, stop. It is a nice sound in the background. This game is full of great sounds. It's okay, it'll be over soon. You it'll be over soon. No! Whoa! Hey! He hello! It's over. And An Andy? Uh. Uh. <laughs> I mean, Thomas killed his friend Andy with an axe. Sure. Typical apple farm stuff, right? That's. Job at playing that game. Uh, oh. <laughs> I got a bonus sticker, guys. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Okay. <laughs> Wait, where's the key to the house now? Hey, good job, man. You got all the bonus 
with stickers. You did it, so now it's time for your prize. So where are my keys? Oh, they're just in there. In there? Yep, just go right through that door. It's kind of dark, isn't it? Just go right ahead, don't be scared. Yeah, just go get your keys. Well, if you guys say so. Andy's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> just go get your keys, it's fine. Yeah, Andy. You got bonus stickers, you're fine. Yeah, guys, they'll protect you. I can't see anything in here. How am I supposed to find my keys? Hmm. Guys? Hey, Andy. wait, no. Let me out of here. Oh, no. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to Andrew. Find it sure is dark in here. Andrew Appleton. Maze game. Oh no. You're a that dead Pac Man ghost. Yeah. It's okay. My keys have to be around here somewhere. Sure, yeah. It would be nice, though, if I could, like, enter any of the hallway. Yeah. Because I don't, I seem to only be able to go up, which is fine. It's it's sure. an easy maze, and you know, it's there's there's no light. You got some stairs. Yeah. No. Oh. You were killed what? by binary. Is that a baseball? Uh, no. It's a, it's a li light. What is Wait. um? Wait, oh, who are you? It's I'm pumpkin. Peter the Pumpkin. Nice to meet ya. Wait, I'm that Peter the Pumpkin. That's nice. That doesn't matter. This is how it's how He's a little game. evasive, but I trust the cut of his jib. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he just wants to play tag in the dark barn. Sounds great. Mm -hmm. Let's play. Who doesn't want to play tag in the dark barn? Wait, who even are you? It's it's Peter Pumpkin. Yeah, Peter Pumpkin. Yeah. Pumpkin. Catch me if you can. So, I will say this was probably my least favorite mini game. Um, if only because as I mentioned before, uh, like the the hitboxes and stuff are a little strange, so it makes moving around kind of annoying sure. at times. Um, it is a bit. But um, you know, even though it wasn't my favorite mini game, it was probably um, you know, the most interactive mini game for sure. Yeah, you're um, about to get him though. And, and I had a, right, I had a lot of fun trying to chase my new friend, Peter Pumpkin, uh, through this um, rather incredible maze that exists for some reason in a dark barn. Oh, hey, you caught me. Good job. I'm it. Run away if you can. Okay. Don't get caught. Oh. So, so now I'm the one who's running away from Peter Pumpkin. And I, you know, I think Peter Pumpkin is probably the nicest of my friends because he seems to play fair. Yeah. It's yeah. dark like so far, it's been like, hey, you play, you take your turn, I'll take my turn, and like, we're just gonna have a good time. Yeah, and like, he did make make it harder by turning off the lights on you, though. He, he did. It is it is a little rude of him. Uh-huh. Peter. Um, turn on the lights, yeah, my friend. Yeah, he did make it a bit harder. I mean, it seems like you've been avoiding it pretty well. I haven't seen Peter at all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, I've been doing a pretty good job. Um, pretty good job. I did see a mm. random pumpkin head that you picked. Yeah, there's some pumpkins. Is, is it... Oh, no, he ah, caught Ah, beans. Oh, that's how tag I, works. I do need to give a heads up here that, um, you know, there isn't anything graphic, but just uh, there there might be just um, a, a, a flash of something okay. that gotcha. that might sure, scare sure, some people. Sure. Gotcha. It's it's nothing pumpkins? too graphic. Right. Like now? pumpkins are scary. Oh. It's, it's this guy again. It's this guy again. And also it might get a little loud. Oh. <laughs> it's an eye blob. You know those eye blobs. Sure. Yeah. I've got one in my barn. Yeah, me too. Oh, he grew teeth. I'm coming um, for the warning that I just gave. Uh oh, 
What? <laughs> and again. That, that man was ripped into shreds. Yeah, ag again, Man. with the warning. Okay. Sure. <laughs> I, I promise. Mm. Well, you gotta flip the desk. Yeah. Hello? Mm -hmm. Hello? It's... Andy? Oh, oh there's Andy. Hey, oh, there's Andy. But, but oh. again... That, that's not scary, Nikki. Just be careful. Okay. Oh, he found his key. Just be careful. Incoming. Okay. Oh, what does that say? What I got myself into? There's a lot of text. Save us, save us, save me. It will change soon. Is it the eye blob? I do see some eye Oh! Is. Hello. <laughs> uh. <I> what? <laughs> you got your key back? I got my key back. Congratulations. You can get back into your house. I won. I beat the game. <laughs> What? <laughs> Is that what it's like to actually run an apple farm? Yeah. I, okay. Yeah. That seems like a pretty solid, tranquil game that you played there, Nikki. Yeah, it was It was super peaceful. I loved um, learning about all the different varieties. Of nice. Nice. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I definitely learned a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm glad there was a pumpkin guy in there because otherwise I wasn't seeing how this was Halloween related. Yeah, so. no, right. the, the pumpkins certainly help things, especially like the little jack-o'-lanterns. It was very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's uh, pretty cute and good for kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, Gunma, if Gunma Co. plays it, you got to let us know how that goes. She probably yeah. shouldn't play it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we get bonus stickers though, so that's great. Bonus stickers, yeah. Actually, um, I found the game to be charming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That seemed fun. Uh, and it was you know pretty short. You, we saw it the was, whole thing. Yeah, it was it was short. Um, I did go and check to see what happens if you try to open up the other save file. Nothing. Um, and then I did try to see what happens like when you open up uh your game, and it, it seems to just start over. But I I don't know if it um. If there was anything different, I didn't feel like replaying again. So you're saying understandable. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I, you know, for a 20 minute game, um, you know, it it was charming. I, you know, I I didn't hate that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm glad you love apples. I love apples. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, is there anything else we should talk about this game before we move on? No. Okay. All right. I'm up next. Uh, Nikki purchased a game for me. It's a game called uh, Eversion. And uh, it's just it's a cute little platform game. I don't know why she didn't go the Halloween route. But um, yeah, it was, it's real. It's real cutesy. Uh, Nikki, do you want to say uh, why, why you got this one? In particular? Yeah, um, you know, I just I know that the theme was, um, you know, the nightmare before Christmas or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but like, you know, this game just looked really fun. It was like a nice little platform um, and just seemed really cute and just seemed like something you would enjoy. Yeah, yeah. I think you know me pretty well. So, yeah, yeah. I, I'm uh, I'm excited to uh, to show the game to you guys. So, yeah, um, I'm, I'm excited for you to play it. I saw some some uh, playthroughs of it and it looks really fun. Yeah. So uh, why okay. don't we why don't we get into a version here? Sure. Cool. As you can see, here's the the cutesy little little game. It's got some fun music. Up the volume from the okay. last game. Yeah, Where so are you? I'm a little flower person, and I'm collecting these uh, these diamonds, these gems. Uh, I can't seem to jump onto the clouds. I really want to, but I can't seem Double to jump, jump on them. So I, I, I guess I'll move. I noticed that like the lighting is changing around there, and then I press this other button, which caused this little thing to happen. And when I go back to that thing and press the button again, I go into like this this alternate 
version of the world, and now I can jump on the, the oh. clouds. Yeah, huh. so they're they're full on platforms now. Can you like change the seasons or something? This is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I, I uh, it does seem to be more fall like now compared to the spring. Yeah. So. This is cute. Yeah. So if I were to try to jump, I'd hit that that cloud and I'd die. So I think I need to go back to the other version of this world. It does look a little Mario 1-1, one, one, doesn't it? It does, yeah. And there's a flag. Okay. And I got all the gems. So that's Yo, good. Oh, this that is cool. That was nice. Yeah. Good job. They call that button that I used to go into the other worlds the Evert button. Ooh. Got it. There, that, that explains the name of the game. Yeah. That makes sense. So, so far, everything's still pretty cutesy and, and fun and adorable, and I love it. So yeah, fun. I, like, I am glad that you are a platformer. Games. Yeah. Like, your sprite's a little small for my taste. Like, I don't like you being the same size as the enemies. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so now okay. I'm back into hard cloud world. <laughs> I love yeah, hard cloud world. That's my Final Fantasy VII <laughs> transition. <laughs> Sephiroth's journey through hard cloud world. <laughs> yep. And uh, I collected a V up there. Uh, I don't know what that means, but I collected one. I get all the letters in a version or something and unlock, like, you know. Yeah, probably. A few things. Hey, see pig Who does? Oh, no! Died! I did, but there appear to be like unlimited lives. So uh, and I just get to keep trying. Too, it's like, that's awesome. Yeah. So, uh, all right. I'm trying to determine if I should go back into the other world or keep going. I think I'm just going to keep going. Which was the right choice. So you just get all the gems and then you're good. Right? Oh, I opened up a different world. I haven't seen this one oh. yet. And this one, like, the trees are dead. So, like. So, it's it, like, this is more of like a. a like in, maybe end winter. of fall? Early yeah. winter, yeah. Yeah. And uh, the enemies are a little bit different. The, um, they look sad. They do. And and the, the boxes Which just seem kind of annoyed uh, that they're still there. But I got another V. There we go. Let's try what does this. the V do? I, I, I don't know. It looks like letters from Bart's Nightmare. They, yeah, this is just a remake of Bart's Nightmare. Yeah. Finally. About time. So uh, I've gone back to the beginning. There doesn't seem to be anything oh, new. No. Oh, man, oh, I no. died. But it does save your progress. All the gems I collected still appear to be collected. So I'm just well, going to move to the right. How are the physics? How do they feel? Uh, they're, like, not as good as Mario, but they're not horrible. Sure. Uh, okay, it, all right. Yeah, so new world. Okay, there's a right off the bat. I can hit that one. So you got a little puzzle going. Well, that's cool. I like that. Yeah. So there's, okay. And some of the worlds only open from the other ones. So, like, I sure. have to go into this world in order for that one to open up. Hey, you have 40 gems in this one. Yeah. I have a kind of determined I'm not going to try to collect all of the gems because I just want to see as much of the game as possible. Oh, do you not have to? Okay, I thought maybe you had to collect you, all the You gems. don't have to collect all of them to move forward now. Alright, I got those. Oh, there's some down here. Alright, we're going to go hit these non plus boxes. Get those gems. Good going so far. Okay. So I can't He's move right forward. Away, yeah. I have to. Okay, so he goes to sleep when I go into the other world. Got so you. I just wait for him to walk under that block. There and we go. Ah, yeah. oh, he like hibernates. Yeah. That's smart. Good puzzle solving there, Cody. Thank yeah. you. All right. Okay, so I went back in. Hard cloud world activated. But to get that, now I have to make him stop moving, go back. Now I can get the okay. gym. I'm trying to get to that hole without <laughs> without walking so close that I die. But a success. Oh, no. Okay. So now the world yeah. behind me seems to be being destroyed. Um, well, that's concerning. It is. That doesn't seem like a good thing for me. 
Oh no! Oh no! You got I, swallowed up by the darkness. I did. What happened? I got swallowed by darkness. So we're is gonna try. What is happening? Oh no! Yeah. Okay. Cutesy world is under attack, man. Uh, no, Cody! No! I did it! I did it though. Okay. I figured okay. it out. Get the gems if you could, please. That's important. Okay. I I got hey. most of the gems. Hey. But I did make it. I outran hey. the darkness. So that Same was a little day. scary. Oh, so I, I hit that block, and now I'm in some kind of decrepit future. Oh, oh shit! A, a hell hand reached up from the ground. So I've cut ahead a little bit, uh, so we don't have to see too much of me replaying the same thing. And now we've moved ahead a little further in the level. Okay. Oh, it's just hell hands. Yeah, it's just hell yeah. hands. I've seen my fair share of hell hands before in my yeah. life. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Same. This is this is pretty old hat. You've heard of Cerberus. This is this is something completely different. This is the Hell Hands, right? Yeah. Okay, so we've we're back. Okay, we're out of we're out of Hell World now. So there's that. Phew. All right. Only got still ten under at least. So we're moving forward. Okay. Okay. So we also noticed that that world does not our version of the world doesn't show us where the portals are. You have right. to kind of use that changing background to figure out where they are. That makes sense. But we got it. All right. Okay, cool. We'll just move this way. Oh, I can't. I can't. I can't move that way. Okay. Oh. Okay. So this world is obviously not the correct one. So. You got to portal back. Now we see. But it's still there. Huh. What, uh. what the What the fuck, man? Can you right. is there something? butt stomp or something? Or lift rocks? Or. There's another. There's another world. So now oh. I'm in a much more dangerous world where the blocks are destroyed and there's little there are thorns that I'm assuming will kill me. Uh, the enemies seem much more demonic. Oh, oh wow. wow. That that was blood, I suppose. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the, the enemies now explode in blood when you stop How on them. How does it feel to be a murderer, Cody? Yeah, I'm a super murder man now. <laughs> Ruffle says this game immediately became the Langoliers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How many Mandy Pachinkos do we give each game this week? Uh, Not enough. Yeah, there aren't enough available. Cool, you're being chased by blood. Yeah, so like the darkness is now now a blood world. Oh no, and that's a flying hell hand. Yeah, they're coming at me from the side now. It's okay. I wasn't that, ready for like Kaizo aversion, you know, mother. I I also <laughs> exploded into blood when I died. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to one day. Yes. <laughs> it's the new Walking Dead verse, like, you know, some people turn into zombies, others explode into ah! blood. Is there a name for your character? Uh, not that I ever learn. A little Iverzo. Yeah, Iverzo and his Hell World. Mm-hmm. So we've cut ahead because I died quite a few times. Yeah, see, pick in the chat says, not going to lie, this looks awesome. I agree. It looks really fun. No, yeah. Uh, yeah and it actually it, is really fun. It, um, you know, is inexpensive and on Steam right now if, if you wanted yeah. to uh, give yeah. it a go. Oh, I died again. All of these uh, games should be somewhere around the $5 mark. Yeah, yeah. So obviously, like today. sales and whatnot can change that. Yeah, yeah. Sales were oh, valid. Cody. Oh, good, good. I made oh, it. Thank God. I made it. I made it to the end of the level. All right. So one more level. That shows me how many gems I've collected. Okay. Uh, which is not two hundred and forty. Yeah, noticed. Did it? Did it change from gems to question marks? Uh, no. Those those question marks are deadly uh, spines, but they the gems did turn into skulls. Oh. I see. Oh man, your score! You look at look at how well you're playing with that score. Yeah, right. Yeah, my my score just is so high; it just keeps rapidly changing. Been there. I mean, mm -hmm. that's just how skilled you are. Yeah, and the uh, the music changes. I'm trying to figure out. I how like the music changes. changes. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. They're very bad. They're my favorite. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Let's see what's over here. Nothing. 
cool. I imagine Great. another world would have something over there, but... Yeah, probably. We won't get to see that. Nope. All right, all right. Hmm. All right. Oh, oh, oh okay. Boy. All right. But Jeez. I collected an O. Hey, oh, that's great. Yeah. yeah. Hey, why are you going backwards? Because I couldn't go forward anymore. <laughs> oh, okay. So uh, I'm trying to figure out how to jump into another world now. But then I figured, oh, wait. This guy. There we go. Hey. Nice. And there's a flag. Job, All right. Seven, Hooray! six cleared. And... Oh, oh, I saved the princess. Wow. You saved the prince. That's amazing. Yeah, look at me. I did it. Everything's so Congratulations, Avergio. I love it. Avergio, good job. You, you, uh, oh. Oh. Is she uh -oh. okay? Uh, princess? Prin prin what a big eye you have. Oh my this is this is so hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh dear. Oh. Oh, princess, uh you've changed. So is she, is she in another castle or are we just gonna stand here? Okay. And now I'm dead. Oh. Wow. <laughs> yep. Yep. I died. Uh so Got yeah. It. Um there are multiple endings to this game based on how many gems you collect. That makes sense. So That's I got cool. I got the bad ending, I'm assuming. Uh, I don't know what any of the other endings are. You can go back and play, and you can choose which level you want to start at. And uh, all the game gems you've collected, you can go back, and you can try to collect the ones you've missed. So I'm going to actually do that. Um, but I just wanted to get through as much of the game as I could for the show. And, uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a lot of fun. I, I quite enjoyed oh, it. I'm thank, glad. Thank hey, you. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it was good. Uh, all right, Matt. You're up. All right. I'm last. Uh, I believe my game was bought by Cody. It was. Um, for me, it is uh, called Savage Halloween. Uh, and Savage Halloween came out, I believe, last year around Halloween time, if okay. I remember correctly. Uh, and it's from uh, Second Boss, which is a uh, Brazilian developer. Nice. Uh, they, haven't, they haven't made too many other games. Uh, nothing that anyone's ever heard about, to my knowledge. I had never heard of this game before. Um, basically, uh, you'll, you'll get the story at the beginning. Yes, Savage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, it's uh, The story you'll get at the beginning is basically the denizens of Halloween get to come out. All the monsters and ghouls and whatnot get to come out one day a year for uh, to party. And they're just tired. They work every other day of the year to scare you. For sure. So why can't they, you know, get more days off than just one? And it's up to our heroes to, uh, you know, get them back in hell, I guess? <laughs> sure. Why not? Let's take a look at Savage Halloween. Okay. Oh, uh, music alert. It's going to be a little loud. Every year, we can get out of the depths for 24 hours and celebrate Halloween. That's not fair. Do we work 365 days a year doing bad things? And are we only entitled to one day off? Enough! This time, the Halloween rave won't end. So I close the portal of the depths. And now nobody can come back. Come on, guys! Get on your poles and feet! Let's party forever! <laughs> Solid. And so we on down to a union formation, my dude. <laughs> it happens every year, but this time it crossed the line. Yon, I agree. I want to go home, but my dad closed the portal. So it's time to end this mess. God, this right. music is awesome. Yeah, I'm missing the fifth season of Dr. The Cave. Huh? You too, Lulu? Good boy. Let's do this. Best character. Neat. Uh, so, Savage Halloween is a uh, Contra-like game? Cool. What? <laughs> uh, uh, where you play as one of three Halloween characters. Uh, we've got, um, as you'll see in a second, we've got James, uh, the Pumpkin oh. Man, Lulu the Werewolf, and Dominica the Vampire Girl. Okay. Um, they have alternate colors, as you can see. 
Uh, as far as I know, there's a two-player simultaneous mode as well. Uh, you're going to see one player, though. Um, they all have different stats. Lulu's kind of more of a tanky, slow character. Uh, James is your basic run-and-gun guy. Uh, you, you won't get to see the other two in action. Uh, Domenica has a Princess Peach-like Mario 2 float. Okay. Uh, which I think makes her the best character. Damn, punks. Well, at that speed, is solid. it shouldn't take long to reach the castle. What is the Cyclops, like, Flava Flav Cyclops? Uh, yeah, that's him. That's, <laughs> okay. that's Flava Flav. <laughs> the Flava Flav Clops. So, yeah, the music in this game, as has been pointed out, super dope. Yeah, dude. Um, here's so level one. You're Pumpkin James. Okay. I yeah. was not expecting this. Uh, so we've got different <laughs> weapons we can switch to. Uh, immediately I got 100 spread gun ammo. You've got your machine gun. You can fire in eight directions. Um, you have a double jump. Nice. And these, you can also hold Y to stand in place, so you don't have to move oh, and cool. aim everywhere. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, you've also got these cool little executioners that you shoot. Lots of health to get. Um, as you'll see as we kind of go along, it's, uh, like I said, a Contra slash platformer uh, with a little bit of a Castlevania vibe, too. Um, and so we just kind of make our way through the levels here. Um, there's not much else to say about it other than, like, I don't know. I think it's pretty good. This uh, looks like a lot of fun, dude. Yeah, I had a lot of fun playing it. Uh, I think my only complaints are that I you'll you'll see me. I will try out every gun we get. Okay. I kind of didn't really see much reason other than a few instances to use anything other than the regular machine gun. Okay. Um, the rest of them are kind of very situational and or wacky. Um, okay. But like. I don't know. There's some interesting physics going on here. Uh, I think you can kind of see it here as the uh, actually the minecart there gives me a little bit of a boost going huh. forward. The I'm what do you have? Is that I'm a wondering if there's a speed run of this game? Oh, probably. Was that a what? It looks like you have ammo for ghost frog, chicken, and pumpkin. And yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. Uh, yes, basically. So the bat is the spread gun. Oh. Um, and I was trying to conserve my ammo, basically. The spread gun is probably the second best gun. If not, it might be better than the machine gun, but... But you I have unlimited ammo. ammo with this one, yeah. Right. Do the other characters get to use the gun? Uh, so, yeah. Um, the other characters don't play too differently. They okay. all have the same guns. Um, again, it's uh, for Lulu, you've got more of a... Uh, Tanky, beefier character takes less damage, stuff like that. Slightly slower. Uh, and Dominica, she can float, jump. So she's uh, a little takes a little more damage, but uh, is you know a lot more maneuverable. So is Jack's like main thing that he's, he's your Mario. More balanced? Okay. Right. Yeah. So okay. So this is like a slide. Yeah, is our frog gun? It kind of just like bounces off walls. It's interesting. We're murdering plague doctors, Rumple. We're murdering right. clay do plague doctors. That's fine. Uh, I just earned my special. Every character does have a different special. Uh, okay. Jax is kind of a grenade launcher that I waste right here. Uh, cool. Um, there it is. Okay, I'm out of grenades. Um, <laughs> whereas Lulu the werewolf has um, sort of the sort of werewolf charge, and Dominica does this sort of energy absorption thing because she's a vampire, you know. Gotcha. Um, so yeah, you're doing kind of like light platforming here along with your shooting. Um, but luckily, you know, unlike say old old school games that this is obviously taking some inspiration from, you don't die in one or two hits. Uh, and there's a generous amount of health, you know. We are playing on the normal, not hardcore mode. That's fair, but yeah. yeah. I mean, it's your but first yeah. time playing it, right? For sure, yeah. Um, I will say, like, it's not, it's not too hard. Uh, not, uh, like, I definitely die at least a couple times here. Um, but it's still a good time. So, you like, you know, again, you can hold Y to not move. 
I don't I have like, like a spooky thing that like comes up like you guys' games did. Mine is just kind of like, it's just it is what you see on the tin here. But like what we see is awesome. Yeah, it's pretty rad. Yeah, man. Sufficiently Halloween themed, the music sounds real Halloweeny. For sure. While also being banging. I am like it's it's kind of shocking to me that like again this game's about a year and a half old. Yeah. Um and like it's five bucks on Steam. It has, God, when I checked, uh, 26 reviews. Not wow, enough. Really? That's it. That's it. That's that wild, because this game seems pretty awesome yeah. and certainly deserving of more. Yeah, and, like, I get, I, get, I get that, like, no one has any reviews, because, like, it's, you know, I never heard of it before either. Um, yeah. But, like, I think it's pretty rad. Uh, so this is a kind of gun that when it shoots out, uh, if it doesn't do anything if it doesn't hit anything it kind of patrols back and forth um i found this one maybe the most useless out of any gun i like the see idea like, well yeah but it doesn't follow you around oh yeah okay it stays on the area down where you shot it it's kind of it's kind of garbage how many plague if maybe doctors... it followed me around that would be different how many plague doctors and fucking axe assassins uh does this world need a lot. Right. They're trying. Listen, they're trying to rave. That's true. Not enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was trying to see if there were maybe like secrets in the wall. I kind of seem prime for secrets. Chicken. <laughs> the so chicken the chicken like... is kind of like uh, the Crash Man's bombs in Mega Man Two. Yeah. They stick out, and they stick to you, and then eventually explode, doing massive damage. Um, so we meet this witch here. Oh. Does anyone need a ride? And now the game's a shooter. <laughs> but what? same guns. Okay. Same guns, same music, same characters. Cool. Um, the only, so I, the, my video was originally around 17 minutes long. We're cutting down to 14. The shooting section is pretty long gotcha. and kind of samey. If I'm being okay. honest, uh, it's fine. It's it's probably my least favorite part of the game, though. Uh, you can still hold Y to keep facing one direction, which is cool. Um, and it eventually dawns on me that yeah, I should probably be using the spread gun here. Um, yeah. But I'm, I start getting achievements for like having, you know, more and more bullets in one weapon. I'm like, well, why don't I just uh, keep getting achievements? That sounds fun. Dang. Um. But yeah, so this is this really reminds me a lot of like Mega Man 8's shooting sections. If that makes yeah. any like sense, you're doing really um, well. Yeah, it's 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 pretty well done. It's a like this is definitely the hardest section of the game too, as these ghosts are super jerks. Um, I I just kind of think this section overstates its welcome a little bit. Yeah, I'd rather get back to the platforming, you know. Right. My bread and butter. I decided to try and use the other weapons and immediately regretted it. Yeah. I could actually but see yeah. maybe the ghost one being semi useful here. Yeah, exactly. Maybe the ghost. But. Dude, this looks fun. <laughs> For sure. Like, as I was playing it, I was like, man, uh, especially after, after I played it, I wanted to go at least test out the other characters to see how they were different. Yeah. And I. Uh, bum rush through the first level to get to that where you get the special moves so I can see what their specials were. And I was uh, like, man, I bet this would be a cool speedrun game. Yeah, dude. Up until I got yeah, to... Yeah, oh no, absolutely it would be. Up, up until I got to this auto-scroller, in which case it's not a good speedrun game. But... Well, <laughs> every good speedrunning game has a great place for donations. Right, you know? exactly. <laughs> uh, then you get to the boss fight. This, is, this really feels contra to me. Um, just the way this level is built. Ah, oh, now you gotta um, kill Flava Flav Claws. Right. <laughs> and he's shooting his babies down. Uh, so your job is to kill babies and <laughs> kill Flava Flav. <laughs> Obviously, it wants you to use the frog. Ah, uh, supposedly that. That's why I'm using the frogs. I'm like, it seems to want me to use frog, right? It's giving me frog ammo. Yeah. Oh, there's well, also it also gives me spreader. 
Okay. And spreader is a lot better in this. Yeah. You do, ha you know, they're in the fucking air, so. Right. Oh, no. So, yeah, that if you stand is... underneath him or, uh, like, a little too close to him, he will do this sort of bonsai drop on you. And he sort of does this back and forth attack. I'm pretty sure you can duck under, but I never do. Gotcha. Uh, and so I'm just kind of, like, finding a good spot. If you're around that distance I was from him, then you're pretty good. He won't, he won't land on you. So like that. Flava Flav Clops and the Forest of Babies. <laughs> <laughs> I think the boss theme is pretty good. Um, I really like the artwork. Yeah, the artwork's great. Like, oddly enough, I think the sprite work on maybe the main characters is the worst as far sure. as the right where it goes, but like all the enemies look fantastic. Yeah. And it's still not bad on Jack. Like he's No, fine. for sure. But I decided to switch back to the machine gun because it seems like I can do more damage with it. I also got a little bit of special. Oh yeah, it's fallen pretty quickly with machine gun. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I can do a little bit of damage while he's uh, coming at me from that direction. So you just kind of got to shoot him, uh, get his health bar down. There's a little bit of a war of attrition, but it's still still a pretty fun boss fight. You're getting it. He doesn't seem he to just... change things up too much. No, 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 no pattern shifts. Just a lot of health. Uh, but, but we're he... shredding him now. We should have him. He's also the first boss, right? Right. You got him. Fucking right. murdered that guy. And stage one clear. Okay. Um, I think I cut it out, but after this, you go to like a map screen that's very much. Maybe I don't cut it out. Uh, like Castlevania. Okay. Um, but yeah, I do cut out stage two, uh, which is more of an ice stage. But other than that, yeah, it's uh, that's a super solid game. Yeah, yeah that was I really highly fun. recommend it. Uh, Savage Halloween, you can get that on Steam, PS4, PS5, Switch. Uh, I don't believe it's on the Xbox consoles, but all the other things you can get it for uh, on Steam, it's just five bucks. So, nice. Uh, yeah. I, I highly recommend it. It's a good game. I'm really glad you liked it. Yeah. I yeah, just, for sure. Uh, I, I, I saw it. I'm like, this looks kind of like, you know, old school platformy shooter, kind of like, uh, like maybe a, a better controlled Castlevania or something. Uh, right. So I thought, yeah, so I'll, I'll go ahead and get that for Matt. And it turns out... Oddly enough, it's a, it's a different Konami game. Yeah. Contra. <laughs> right on. Okay. Yeah. I don't think any of us played a shitty game this week. I think uh, they're all pretty solid. I don't solid. think so either. Yeah, I thought they were all pretty good. Especially, you know... different ways, right? Absolutely. Right. Scraping the bottle, bottom of the uh, the Steam barrel this time paid off. So <laughs> Halloween miss maybe next year too. Who knows? Who yeah. knows? All right. Well, uh, this has been uh, Karch Floor so far, but before we go ahead and sign off for this particular episode, we got to know what we're playing next time, Matt. What is Didn't that? Didn't I generate a theme the last episode? That oh, we you're right. Do? Yes, right. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, I've already played my game for that and everything. Uh, what yeah, was it? Adver Games. Uh, we never played our Adver Game week, so. Okay. All right. All right. So that's what you have to look forward to is, uh, is Adver Games. We, we mean it this time. So, we mean um, it. Yeah, for real. For, for real. So this has been Cartridge Blowers. I'm Cody Coleman. With me, as always, Nikki Wright. And Matt Krua. <laughs> I'm transforming back. Oh, help. I'm, trans I'm transforming back. But Matt, quick. What should they do? Don't die. And, and keep on blowing. Bye, everybody. <laughs> 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 ha 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 